Hop in my getaway car, let's go just for the night is ever too far baby all we got is time hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i have a really fun makeup skincare haul from sephora i am really really excited for this you guys i literally just ordered these items two days ago and it already is delivered i am so excited i actually just finished filming a book video right now and the box came in i am so excited so if you are not following me over on my book channel definitely head over there and hit subscribe i would love to have you over there if you are a book lover looking for some book recommendations for yourself for your kids definitely head on over to my book channel for all of your bookish needs you guys but i was like you know what why not double batch film today so i am now sitting down and filming this sephora haul which I am so, so, so excited for. I was out of a lot of items. There was a lot of items that have been on my wish list of things to try when it comes to skincare and makeup. And so I cannot wait to use a lot of this stuff tonight for my nightly skincare routine. I am excited. I'm excited. I don't think I have a makeup or skincare haul on this channel. So this is going to be fun and different. All right, so let's open this box up and see what we have inside. I am excited. This is a very, 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 very expensive haul, you guys. I spent $400. Yeah, I spent $400, but you know what? I was out of a lot of stuff, and I like to spoil myself, and I think it was well worth the money. And if I want to spend my money on books and products and clothes, then so be it to each their own. Now, I don't normally shop at Sephora. There are certain items that I will get at Sephora that I won't get anywhere else. I'm not like this huge, everything has to be, you know, expensive makeup, skincare items. I love shopping on a budget. I love to get the most for my money. And I do buy a lot of just like drugstore, retail, skincare or makeup items but there are certain items like my Anastasia Beverly dip brow um, and the brow pencil from her I love Selena Gomez's line of um, primers and things like that so there there is stuff that I will pick up from Sephora um, usually I will just have it delivered I don't really like I said I don't really shop at Sephora unless I happen to get a gift card for Christmas my birthday or something then I will go and use it obviously um, but normally I would just shop at like Target or Walmart for all of my like skincare um, makeup needs but there has been some stuff that has been on my list of things to try from Sephora I just could never bring myself to actually buy the items because they're just expensive they're so expensive but I had some money that I had saved for books because as you know I'm a big book lover I'm a big bookworm and I tend to spend my extra money on groceries stockpiling and books but I think I have enough books to last me the rest of the year and well beyond that so I decided to switch things up I needed some more skincare I needed some makeup I was out of things and then like I said there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to try so gosh I don't even know where to begin okay so first item here is the Laneige I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but the Laneige lip sleeping mask and this is the berry flavor or scent whatever it's supposed to hydrate nourish and soften and this has been on my radar for years now I just have never bought it um, but I'm pretty sure you've probably seen this um, around and so it's a lip mask go ahead and open it that's what it looks like um, it even comes with a little scooper which I love so then that way we're not getting bacteria into the little bottle so it comes with a little scoop that you can take out and kind of put on the back of your hand and then rub it in on your lips so I am really really excited for that I will also pop up on the screen how much each item is in case you are interested in buying it um, and so yeah I went ahead and picked that up because I just feel like my lips need something to really like moisturize them throughout the night because 
I have tried so many chapsticks and lip glosses that are supposed to like hydrate and nourish your lips and I do like exfoliate my lips when I am in the shower but I just feel like my lips are always dry and peeling and anytime I go to put like lipstick on or lip gloss I always end up like after an hour or so getting like that film right like that white film right here I've read that if you produce a lot of saliva in your mouth that that is the reason for that white buildup but I don't know if that's true or not um, if you guys have any suggestions on what I can do to help that process so then I can actually get a use out of wearing my chapsticks and lip glosses and lipsticks throughout the day without that happening would be great um, or if it even happens to you let me know because I feel like I'm the only one I don't know but anyways I thought I would pick this up to help hydrate my lips throughout the night so I picked that up all right what do we have here um, okay so this is the Selena Gomez rare beauty always an optimist illuminating primer a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra fine pearls for a lit from within glow which I have used this before and I already used up my entire bottle so I went ahead and bought some more because I love this stuff so much I feel like it's a really great primer before to set my face before doing my makeup and then I also love that it has shimmer in it so it just like shows through the my foundation and concealers so I love that um and this is the illuminating primer base illuminant so yeah and then I guess I can maybe give you guys a little pump on my hand hopefully you guys will be able to see it so that is what it looks like and then we can just like rub it in here can you guys see that shimmer? Look at that shimmer. I love it so much. I love that it gives such an illuminating glow to my makeup. So I love that so, so much. So I picked up some more of that. This is my second bottle that I have purchased from Sephora. I really love Selena Gomez's line. I've tried a couple um, other items from her line, but I really, really love this primer the most. So I had to pick that up again because I just haven't found another primer like it that I absolutely love. So I picked that up. Um, oh yeah, we did get, I did get two free samples. So I guess I'll show you guys those. Um, I got to pick out two free samples and I actually don't remember picking this one out. So maybe they were out of the other one that I picked and they threw this one in. This is the High Roller Topicals Ingrown Tonic Lotion. So interesting. It's a towelette. So it says what it does, it softens, soothes, and reduces discomfort caused by ingrown hairs. Interesting. Apply to clean, dry, affected area. Um, okay, so it's for ingrown hairs. I guess you just like put it over any area that you have ingrown hairs and it's supposed to help that process. So that's interesting. I did not pick this up. I picked up some type of like collagen peptide retinol, um, but maybe they were out of it. So they threw this in instead, which is fine. I will definitely try it out. And then the other free item that I did pick out is the Shawnee Darden Skincare Retinol Reform. Improves the look of fine lines and wrinkles, helps firm and brighten for visibly glowing skin. So I thought I would give that a try instead of buying it and then not even liking it because these items can be very, very expensive. So those are the two free items that I got. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, so this is the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Flexible Lifting Gel. A weightless clear brow gel that shapes, smooths, lifts, and sets with a flexible hold all day. I really wish that this um, box came in before I did my makeup today so I could try out these items. I have not tried this brow lifting set um, from Rare Beauty, so I'm interested to see if I like it. Um, and then it's just a clear gel that you put on your brows before you do your makeup so you can kind of shape them how you want and then it holds them in place so then you could go and put your makeup on afterwards so I definitely wanted to try that out so I'll be trying that um, let me know down in the comments below you guys if you guys would like to see a makeup routine from me using these products and a skincare routine using these products and if you are interested in that I will definitely make a video on my makeup and skincare routine I think that would be a really fun video to make with you guys so um, anywho yeah I picked that up so the next item we have the Sephora HYA hyaluronic acid brightening eye cream 96% ingredients from natural origin plus unscented 
good. So I was in need of some new eye cream, so I thought I would give this one a try, and it was pretty affordable. They had a lot of eye creams on there that were very expensive, and I just wanted something that was pretty reasonable and pretty affordable. And this is the Sephora brand, and it had really good reviews. Um, it says it helps with dark circles appearance after 28 days. Um... Yeah, it says you can apply in the a.m. and p.m. on clean, dry skin and gently pat around the eye. So I am very interested to see how this works. Um, so it has hyaluronic acid from natural origin known to hydrate the skin and caffeine from natural origin known to depuff. So that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it. Cute little jar. I feel like it comes with quite a bit of product inside. Let's go ahead and give it an open so you guys can see what it looks like okay so i am excited to try this i will definitely be trying this tonight maybe i will do a skincare routine video with you guys tonight maybe if i'm feeling up for it um so yeah i went ahead and picked that up all right next item is my tried and true anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade I love this stuff. I have been purchasing this over and over and over and over for years now, and I absolutely love it. I get this in the shade Caramel, in case you are wondering there. I hope you guys can see that. I hope it's focusing. I get this in the shade Caramel, and I will go ahead and show you. I am like completely out of the dip brow that I had last. I've actually been having to use... Um, a brow pencil that I picked up from the drugstore that I don't really care for, but it does the job. So this is what it looks like. And you just use an eyebrow pencil. Um, you just use an angled eyebrow pencil to fill in your brows. So I love that. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, like I said, I've been using it for years and it has not let me down. So I had to pick up some more because I was completely out of this stuff. And then I did pick up a brow pencil. Here, here it is. So here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Skinny Brow Pencil. I also got this in the shade Caramel. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull this out as well. Like I said, I've been using this stuff for years. Here is what the pencil looks like. And then it also comes with a brush on the end. And then we have our pencil here. Here we go. All right, hopefully you guys can see that there. So I am really, really excited to have this stuff back in my arsenal. Absolutely love Anastasia Beverly Hills. She has not let me down yet. So I had to pick up some more of that. Okay, next item here. Ooh, this is the Shine On Tower 28 Lip Jelly. So I have been on the look for a lip gloss. I am a lip gloss girly through and through because my lip gloss is popping. If you guys know that song, then you know what I'm talking about, but I have always been a lip gloss girly and I have yet to find a really good lip gloss that is not super sticky and then you have everything clinging to your lips and then it just gives you this super sticky icky feeling to where I just end up wiping it off 15 minutes after I just applied it. This is supposed to be non-sticky. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try for you guys right here on camera right now because I am very intrigued to see how well this works. Mm. Okay, so I can already feel that it is not a sticky consistency. It's very smooth. Ew, I like it already. Look how glossy it is. Ooh, I love that so much. Okay, so I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day, see how it does, and I guess I will get back to you guys on that. Um, so far, I'm loving the feeling of it. You, usually right when I apply a lip gloss, I can tell right away if it's going to be a sticky, icky mess, and I do not get that feeling. So I'm hoping that this holds up because I need a lip gloss that can be my tried and true lip gloss for years to come. So, so far so good. We'll see how the rest of the day ends up going. So yeah, I got this lip gloss. All right. Next item that I picked up is also a tried and true setting spray for me, and that is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. It says it lasts up to 16 hours. So I love this stuff. I have been using this stuff for years, and I tell you, 
your makeup is not coming off if you use this stuff like legit your makeup is not going to come off if you use this stuff i love this it is kind of expensive this is the biggest bottle that they had that i know of um but it's worth it it is so so worth it because you set your face with this and you can go to sleep and wake up with a beat face the next morning like i kid you not seriously i've done it before when i was in high school super super bad i know and now that i'm older i do take my makeup off before i go to bed um but in high school i did do that which is disgusting um but it works it really really works you guys i love this stuff and i have been out of this stuff for months a year maybe and I've been wanting to buy it I just didn't want to spend $38 on setting spray right now I've been using the Milani make it last setting spray I don't really feel like this does much besides make my face look dewy I don't really feel like it sets my makeup at all um, and this is also supposed to be a 16 hour wear and I know that this is no more than like 15 bucks um, at Target um, but I do like like the dewy finish that it gives my makeup um, and so I've just been using that so I'm kind of been tired of that because I really want something that's gonna set my face especially since we are in the summer season here in California and it is so hot and icky and gross and I just need something that's going to set my face and keep my makeup on my face all summer so I had to pick up some more of this and I am so happy to have it back in my makeup collection Okay, I think that's all of like the makeup stuff. I did pick up a couple hair care items um, that I wanted to try out. The first one I have is this Curl Smith Scalp Recipe Weightless Air Dry Cream. It is a airy leave-in conditioner for all curl types. It has wild maru maru, babasu oil hyaluronic acid silky castor oil and gra grated ginger it's also vegan so this had a lot of good reviews and it kind of just stuck out to me um i normally use like the mrs um miss jessie's brand um for my hair care um but i wanted to try something different um so i went ahead and picked this up and it says the truth about buildup. Layering styling products will ensure your curls are popping throughout the week, but they may accumulate on your scalp and prevent it from breathing. We have designed our leave-in conditioner to be super lightweight, giving the moisture you deserve while reducing the chance of buildup, which for me, I obviously have curly hair, but I have like a thinner consistency when it comes to my curly hair. Like I don't have like this big volume thick kinky curly hair so what works best for my hair is lightweight products or water based products like I love the Shea Moisture brand but their product is so thick and heavy that when I go to put in their leave-in conditioner on my hair it really weighs my hair down and then it's not able to like really fully dry to get the volume that I'm looking for so the fact that this is a weightless leave-in conditioner I'm really really curious to give this a try so that is why I went ahead and picked that up and then I also picked up this Amika Water Sign Hydrating Hair Oil. So I was in need of some more hair oil. I don't know if you guys can see that. Some more hair oil for my hair. Um, I haven't really found a hair oil that I'm like absolutely in love with. Um, so I'm excited to kind of give this a try. Um, this is what the bottle looks like, super cute. And let's see what it says. It says infused with a powerful blend of oils, Walling and hyaluronic acid, the silicone-free ultra-hydrating hair oil locks in moisture and protects from future breakage. The highly concentrated lightweight formula heat protects, fights, frizz, smooths, and is ideal for all hair types. So interesting, interesting. I'm going to give it a little pump here. I'm going to put some in my hair since I am completely out of oil and I haven't put any oil in my hair today. Oop, that completely spilled over. Oh well. Okay. Okay, so it feels really lightweight Ooh, do you guys see that it instantly gave like a little shine to my hair okay just go ahead and throw this in i'm gonna add one more pump to the ends of my hair Ooh, look at that it already gave me a nice shine and it smells so good oh my gosh okay so I do love like the shine that it gave to my hair. 
hopefully this will do my hair some wonders with just like the frizziness and just keeping my hair shiny and healthy and smooth and hydrated and soft all of the wonderful things if you have curly hair then you know exactly what I mean so like I said I haven't found a like hair oil that I am very very like that I'm like in love with. So I wanted to try this one. There was also a bunch of other products from this brand that I wanted to try, um, but I went ahead and just picked this up. Um, so oh, it smells so good. Like I can just smell it. So the fact that this is going to also leave my hair smelling super good, I love that. So if you guys wanna see a curly hair routine from me, also let me know down below. I know there are a lot of curly haired girls out there and with curly hair, it can be really hard to like, understand your curls and what type of curl pattern you have, how to take care of your hair, how to keep your hairstyles lasting longer than a day, um, and all of those fun things. So, oh my gosh, it left such a beautiful shine. I love that. I love it. And it smells so freaking good. Like the smell, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, moving on. I think I could talk about that product forever because it smells so freaking good. The next few items that I got are for my skincare. I am completely out of moisturizer. I am completely out of a lot of my skincare and I also wanted to try some new stuff. Um, so I'm almost out of my face wash. So I am currently using the CeraVe Acne um, Foaming Cleanser. Um, and I just wanted to give something else a try. This brand has been on my radar for a really long time. I just have never took the initiative to actually buy it. So I wanted to give it a try and that is the Ordinary Acne Set. So I still do get acne. For those of you that are wondering, I am 29. I've always had like hormonal acne. So I get a lot of acne along my chin line. I hardly ever, rarely ever get acne on my cheeks or forehead, but I always tend to get like that acne along my chin. Um, so I was looking for something different to try and this comes with three steps. So it comes with a gentle cleanser um, a treatment for acne and a lightweight hydration moisturizer. So I'm really, really excited to give this a try. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. These are a lot smaller than I expected. Um, and they didn't have any other sizes. So I would say this might be about a month's worth of skincare. So this is the glue glucoside foaming cleanser. And this is what it looks like. And then it also comes with the Salilic Acid 2% Solution Formulated for Acne Prone Skin. So I also got that. Looks like we have a dropper, which I love these so, so much. So I'm excited to give this stuff a try and see how well it works. And it also comes with the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus Beta Glucan Light Surface Hydration Formula interesting oh my gosh you guys all i smell is that hair oil it smells so good so good oh my gosh okay so yeah this is going to be the new acne set that i'm going to be trying out and seeing how well it works for me and then to go along with um some more of my skincare i also picked up this ordinary direct acids Azalic Acid Suspension 10% Multifunctional Brightening Formula. So I do have a lot of like acne scars um, that I am trying to brighten up. So I went ahead and picked this up for those dark spots to help correct them and brighten them up. Um, so hopefully this works good. I have yet to find a really good like dark spot brightening cream. Um, so I'm interested in giving this a try and seeing how well it works. I've seen a lot of good reviews for it um, and watched a lot of progress on people from month one to like month five. Um, and it seemed to work really well from them. But again, everyone's body is different and everyone's body is going to take in different types of skin treatment differently. So while it might work for some, it may not work for others. So I'm just going to give it a shot and see how this works for me. And then I also needed some new toner um, to try out. So I thought, why not continue with the Ordinary brand? And I got the Glycolic Acid 7% Exfoliating Toner. And this is actually a really big bottle. So 
nice. So I wanted to give this a try. I've seen a lot of good reviews on this and I have been wanting to try this toner for quite some time now. I just have not gotten around to actually buying it. The toner that I have, I just feel like it isn't doing justice for me at all right now. I've been using the um, Neutrogena Acne Stress Toner and I just feel like it's doing nothing for me. So I'm just gonna throw that bottle out and we are going to give this one a shot. And then I also picked up some sunscreen because your girl doesn't use sunscreen like she should. And now that I'm getting older and I definitely want to take the initiative in taking more better care of my skin, especially now that I'm older and I'm almost going to be 30. What the heck, you guys? I definitely don't feel it. I definitely don't look it. Um, but I just want to take that initiative and really, you know, taking care of my skin better and really just like trying to get my skin back to its supple glow that it had in my youth um and also it is the summer months like i said and so i we are going to be spending a lot more time outdoors and so i definitely wanted to take the initiative in getting myself some sunscreen for my face and this is the super goop glow screen which i'm excited for i have been wanting to buy this i just didn't want to spend 50 bucks. I believe this is like 48 or $50 for this. And that is pretty ridiculous, but I've seen so many good reviews and I love that it has like this shininess to it that you can wear by itself and your skin's going to look glowy, but also you can wear it underneath your makeup and it's going to give that extra glow. So I wanted to give this a try. Um, it has SPF 40. It's lightweight, pearlescent formula that hydrates skin with a dewy luminous finish that wears well under makeup so let's look at this okay this is what the bottle looks like and you know what while you guys are here let's go ahead and put some on my skin and see what it looks like all right I'm gonna put on this hand since I put the primer on my other hand all right, that is what it looks like. So it has a little bit of a tint to it. Let's go ahead. Oh, it's very lightweight and creamy. I love the feeling of it because sunscreen, some sunscreens can feel very like sticky and thick. Mama. Okay, you guys see that shimmer? Shimmer, Mama. shimmer. I love it gives a great shimmer. I love that so much. So I'm already in love with this. Camera is doing any justice here with showing you guys, but it definitely has some shimmer to it and I am excited to give it a try. All right. So I will definitely be using these items come Friday because we do have a birthday party to go to. So I can't wait to use my um, makeup items that I got. Um, okay, and then one more item, you guys. And the last thing that I went ahead and picked up is this Dermalogica Daily Skin Health um, Cleansing Oil. And this removes makeup, sunscreen, and debris. So I've been wanting to get my hands on a cleansing oil. I've heard a lot of good things about using a cleansing oil before you wash your face just to get all of, you know, the makeup and the bacteria and the dirt off of your face. Um, so I've been wanting to buy one and I think this one was like 50 or $60, but it had a lot of good reviews. And so I thought I would give this one a try. So this is a pre-cleanse. You use it before you do your actual like face wash. So I'm excited. Look at this little tiny bottle. I swear online it looks so much bigger. I mean, I guess I could have paid more attention to the ounces, but $50 or $60 for this little bottle is nuts, you guys. Um, but this is what it looks like. Um, I'm interested to see what the consistency is inside. So yeah, it is just an oil. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just an oil. Um, so I'm excited to see how much this helps my skin and taking off my makeup. So I'm definitely gonna be using this tonight. It says, deep cleansing oil melts impurities and makeup from skin. Achieve ultra clean and healthy skin with a double cleanse regimen that begins with pre-cleanse. So I am really, really excited to use this stuff, you guys. I think I might triple batch film today and film a nightly skincare routine with you guys just so you guys can see me use this products i think that would be a really fun video to do so be on the lookout for that video you guys because i definitely will be doing that tonight with you guys um but yeah that is all of the items that i got in my sephora haul and you guys that hair oil if i took anything away from this haul it's gonna be the amika hair oil 
oh, it smells so freaking good. So freaking good. I definitely think I'm going to try out some more products from them because that smell alone, that's all I smell and it smells so good. I'm excited for all of these products. If you guys have used any of these products and you have any reviews or helpful tips or tricks on any of the skincare or makeup items, definitely leave a comment down below that for me. If you have any other items that you would like me to try out for you guys or you just want to recommend to me, definitely leave them down below as well. I'm always open to trying out new types of makeup, skincare, and curly hair products. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If I can find everything, I will link it all down below in the description box. So if you are interested in any of these items, all you have to do is click on the link, add it to your cart, or take a screenshot and go in stores and you know exactly what to get. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this haul as much as I did. Literally felt like Christmas Day to me opening that box. So, 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 so much fun. I may have started a nasty habit of shopping at Sephora. Who knows? Um, but anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Don't forget to subscribe to my book channel if you have not headed over there already. And I will see you guys in my next haul. You guys, this lip gloss feels so good. It does not feel sticky at all. I feel like this lip gloss is going to be a hit. But do you see this? Look, I think I'm already getting this white film. This is exactly what I'm talking about, this white film. I don't know if that was there already when I put on the lip gloss or if it started, but that's exactly what I mean. And it like wipes away, but... I hate it. I hate it so much. Like, does that happen to you guys? Do you guys get that white film after so after like 10 to 15 minutes of wearing it? Like, I can't be the only one. Like, I know my sister said she also gets that. So I know we're not the only ones. And if you have any tips or tricks on that or what the heck it is, why it happens, comment down below because I would love to know that I am not alone in that area. Yeah. All right, you guys, I gotta go and get started on this nightly skincare routine for you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for it. See you guys later. A small town, run down, so let's run away from here. From the coast to the coast where everything is clear.